What's up everyone? Welcome to Triple Trouble in a very special episode where we explain something about traditional archery. I am here with uh, Simon. Simon makes bows and uh, he makes horse bows. And um, the first time I saw them, I was expecting something that wasn't uh, shooting as well as a, a normal traditional longbow or flat bow. Um, but Simon made something that is uh, very up to par with the other bows. And maybe you can tell something about that. Hi, yeah, I uh, wanted to make a, an Asiatic bow or horse bow which performs like a modern reaper yeah. and uh, I look like how are the modern bows, how are they made, what, what makes them good mm -hmm. and what makes most horse bows on the market not really so high performance. Yeah. Yeah. So what is different to this bow than the normal horse bows you'll see in any shop? What I, is important for me is that the, the draw is very smooth until the end so there is not a lot of stacking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I try to keep the, the, the tips small, uh, so there's not a lot of mass. Yeah. Uh, I use uh, fast flight like the uh, normal reaper. Yeah. Uh, and I, uh, the bending is a, s a special part of the bow. Uh, that's yeah, why it's so smooth. There's a really heavy bend in the beginning. Yeah. Is that normal for horse bows, or is that something that you do to make the bow faster or perform better? Uh, you mean when it's strong? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. when it's strong, yeah. there's a really heavy bend yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. There are two, uh, uh, two parts which uh, will move when you draw the bow. Mm -hmm. So the first part is uh, when it's strong, like this, and when you when you draw, you can see uh, that there's another part going to move. So there, uh, it's like two stages. Yeah. And that makes it, I think, more smooth. Okay. And, uh, it has to be said that uh, before I expected this bow to be very heavy in the back end, but when I pull back this bow, it doesn't stack at all. So uh, it's pretty heavy here, but it's the same weight here, give or take. Uh, and that's something that I'm not used to for my shooting because I shoot a, a or like a modern recurve. Um, and that's really different. So for me, the, the weight builds up and with this one, it stays pretty much level. So that's really interesting. Yeah. So I'm holding this one, which is a, like a wood color. Uh, I don't know if it's bamboo or something else. Yeah, it's, uh, it's bamboo. Yeah. Uh, but you're holding a black one. Yeah. Uh, does this mean you have different versions? Yeah, I have a few different versions, like uh, with black fiberglass or with uh, transparent uh, fiberglass, uh -huh. clear fiberglass. But yeah. uh, then you can see the, the bamboo core. Yeah. And you can choose the, some different options for the woods in the handle and the. Yeah, and the tips. because this is yeah. light wood and this is much darker wood. Yeah, than the so this is ash, and this is <laughs> black locust. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, does the color matter to the performance of the bow? No, they all perform the same. Uh, the, the black one is a, a little bit cheaper and I also make them uh, with stained uh, bamboo core. So then you have a fade out from dark to light and to dark. That sounds nice. That's all just optical. They're all the same uh, materials. and. Uh, the same. Let's shoot some arrows and, uh, and see what other people think about it. Yeah. Nee, maar ik heb ook wel eens met, met andere horse bows geschoten. Dus ook die van uh, die bio komt. Very nice bow. When you draw the first thing, the sias have to work. So then it's it's a little bit stiff, but not not in a in a in a in a discomfort way. And then you pull it to your draw length. Mine is 29, and it draws to my 29 very smooth. And for such a short bow, it's very nice uh, because I'm used to shooting my elderberry bow longer um, doesn't build up draws smoothly but this does it also so for a short bow maybe the best thing you can buy yeah i think so 
Nice. I love this bow. This is uh, only 37 pounds, but feels like uh, it's much quicker than a, a typically 37 pound bow. Um, Simon did a great job on creating this thing just by the looks of it. It's, it's just, yeah, pretty, pretty bow. And, uh, yeah, it's well crafted. It's pretty quick. It's uh, very smooth. You can actually feel the moment when your string lifts off and then the, the sias really do their work in making the rest of the draw very smoothly so that's in my opinion what a bow like this should do right right there i can feel it starting to work and continues on like it should so uh, another thing that it's well it's just different to the bows i normally shoot the handle is very small so when I, I try not to, to grip the bow, so when I put my hand on there, I have to really remember to put it in the right place, because otherwise it will be off. But that's just a little thing in my, uh, well, in my mind. And it's very short, so you can uh, shoot with a hand on. That's nice. And also my fingers uh, are a bit more clutched towards each other. Something to remember when you're shooting this, this bow, but nothing bad about that, actually. So, uh, yeah, buy it. It's worth it. So the conclusion of this bow is that it's, it's quick. Um, there's almost no torsion in the limbs. Yeah. Uh, it's very smooth up until a certain point, or from a certain point, I should say. And is there anything you'd like to add? Well, uh, there are the different versions and uh, yeah, I you hope you would like to try one because it's almost as fast as a modern recurve yeah. than in the more traditional ACF4. I will put a link to the website down below in the description so you can click on that and uh, see if you uh, want to try one or uh, if you just want to buy one immediately. And then uh, I would say really recommended and a uh, super fun book. Thanks. Thanks.